to America on ships, right? So it, it, did everybody on the earth go into slavery on ships? Who went into slavery on ships, brother? That's right. Crazy. Do you understand you gotta separate from we talk boyfriend and girlfriend? Y'all friends? Friends not to be invasive, you know what I'm saying? But you know, in these last days we gotta separate from our enemies and get gathered together with our own people. Give me Genesis and one. What's your nationality, Kane? You feel you said black? I know that's black. I know that. Yo, yo, know yo. Yeah. But why do we call ourselves that? Right. You heard it? That's what they call us. You ain't black. Hey. You, we all different shades of black. Right. They ain't white. They pink. They not pale. They pink. Because you got some of our people that's pale. You understand? The Northern Kingdom. Pinks and Latinos. You feel me? Hey, they, they not dark. Some of them dark, but some of them light like me. You understand? We all we know, we all different shades of brown though, but give me uh Genesis twenty five and twenty five real quick. Give me yeah bring us out because it's it's something we up here to teach our people where our nationality is according to the Bible what God called us you understand bring us out. The book of Genesis chapter forty nine verse one and Jacob called unto his sons and, and who stated, and Jacob called unto his sons and said Read. father of the children of Israel who you see. Because Jacob, he was a man once upon a time, he wrestled with an angel, and his name was changed to Israel. You understand? So he had 12 sons. Right here he's telling his 12 sons to gather yourselves together. You understand? That's what we got to do in these last days. We got to gather ourselves together, learn who we are, because our whole, our, all our people have been lied to. You know what I'm saying? They taught us lies like, oh, you're black, you, you come from Africa. You know what I'm saying? Y'all came from monkeys. come from monkeys. Yeah, we, no, we come from Israel, but we are everywhere because of the curses. We were we sitting as slaves in all nations throughout the earth. Uh, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. And we living in the last days, you know what I'm saying? Like this kingdom you see around you, this not always going to be here. You understand? It's going to come a time where all these buildings is going to be destroyed by nuclear fire and destruction. Or nature. Nah, not, not nature, brother, because give me uh, Isaiah 40, uh, Isaiah 54 and uh, 16 real quick. Brother, give me Isaiah 9 and 5. Why couldn't it be, though? Because the Bible don't say that. But the flood of Noah happened, right? That's not nature. That was the work of the Lord. That's the Lord nature. flooded the earth. That's not nature. But he used the elements to do it, yeah. But the elements and what you call nature answers to the Heavenly Father. Because that's what you're missing, King. You understand? It just don't. Bring this out. Book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 5. Bring it out. Actually, Salak, yeah, bring, give me this first. 15, 16. Isaiah 54, verse 16. Bring it out. And it reads thus. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth like a blow of the coals. So the Lord said, I have created the smith that blow up the coals. A blacksmith. You know what a blacksmith is responsible for? A blacksmith make, in the ancient world used to make the swords, the spears. They used to be in the furnace with the little anvil and the metal. Ding, ding, you know, beating out the swords and stuff, making swords for the military. The Lord said, I created that man to do that for me. Read. Well, the bones of that in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. So the Lord said, He created that man to create an instrument for his destruction. Now he's saying, I created the waster. That, what you mean? This is Isaiah. This is Isaiah. So he was a man that 
Yeah. He was a prophet. Yes, he was a prophet. He was a man. Yeah. Just like we right, we up here right now. So we that, men too. So is that the highest power you said? The Lord is telling him to tell the people he's talking to, which are the Israelites, so the what's Lord gonna come to pass. That he's speaking, right? Yes. That means he was a man. But right? he gave he gave his vision. He gave the these words right here through a vision. What vision? You understand? Of, of bring it up, bring it up. God. I'm, I'm woke too. I got you, brother. I got you, brother. Believe that. Kind of book of sin. What's your nationality? The book of uh, Saint, sorry, the book of Saint Timothy, three of our sixteen. Yeah. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. What the Lord say? All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. So a man wrote this Bible, yes, but God told the man to write the Bible. You understand? The Most High. The Most High. Who's the Most High? The book of Exodus, chapter 31, verse 18. Read up. And he gave unto Moses when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai. Two tables of testimony. Tables Give me that right there real quick. Written with the finger of God. So these, these scriptures that we're reading to you right now, they literally written with the finger of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? So that means he was a human at once, right? The Lord? No, the Lord was never human. That means he had to be human. Right. Look at this right here. Bring, bring it out. Bring it out. The book of Isaiah, it, 8 and verse 1. Bring it out. Moreover, the Lord said unto me, Take thee a great robe and write in it with a man's pen. With the what? With a man's pen bring. concerning. Bring. Hold on real quick. So is this Isaiah saying he's doing this himself right now? You tell me. Do you believe in God first and foremost? I, I believe in nature. Do you believe in his son? Do you believe in his son? Do so you don't, don't believe in the Father? I don't believe no man is the highest power. You can say that. Huh? No man is the highest power. No man. No, we a saying. man wrote that, right? No. The man, a man wrote it, yes. But who is telling him. He which, told him that huh. he had to be a man out of his mouth to tell him, right? Bring us up. Yes, sir. Yes, Bring us up. Bring us up. Book of Jeremiah, 30 yes, verse 1. Bring it up. The word that came to Jeremiah. From the Lord. From what? From the Lord. Listen, brother. Hold on. Read it again. Read it again. The word read it again. That came to Jeremiah from the Lord. From what? From the Lord. You hear? The word literally came from the Lord. The word is your mouth. It's, it's tongue. It's tongue, right? What? It's not. It's ring, gang. Hold on, brother. I can't argue. From the from the Lord said. Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel. Thus saith who? Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel. Now thus saith man. Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel. Thus saith mankind. Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel. Read. Then write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. Let me, let me ask you a question real quick. So, if somebody, can a man tell you you're going to go into slavery on slave ships, and that happened 3,000 years in, in the future? What does that have to do with? That's a question, brother. No, no, I, I want to know who told Israel. I'm going to elaborate on that. Can you answer the question? Ask me. Ask me yeah. If man, can man tell you right today, 3,000 years in the future, something is going to happen and it's going to pass? Can man tell you that? I mean, look. Man don't, don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Do the Bible say, I will be with you until the end of this age? Do it not say that? Where say that? Do it not say that. You, you tell me. Have you, have you heard it? You call, you call it's, the priest, It's in there. It's in there. It says in the Bible, I will be with you until the end of this age. The age ended in 2012. That's why they said the world is going to end in 2012. Because they wrote this bullshit. I'm not I'm with it. I'm telling you. I, I know I'm far ahead. Give me Matthew 5 and verse. Give me Matthew 5. Hold on. Slug it. Real quick. Real quick. Give me Matthew 5 and verse 17. I'm way far ahead. Real quick. Tell me, tell me who told Israel wrote that. He said the word, right? That came from a man, right? It didn't come from a man. So who it came from? We clearly just read it came from the most high. You said it's not from a man that y'all think is the so most what? high. The most high is nature. I want, uh, Matthew 5, verse 17. I'm telling you, come on, bro. I'm woke I ain't got to tell you. Y'all don't even know your nationality. I don't got one. I'm, I'm you me. You do got a nationality. I'm my own set. I'm my right, own set. I'm not okay, worried about that. That ain't got shit to do with nothing, bro. How you get the kingdom of heaven? That ain't got to fight. Talking about heaven. Live, right? Live, live by the Ten Commandments. Brother, you know your nationality? Live by the Ten Commandments. That's how you. Where did the Ten Commandments come from? The Bible, but they don't follow the shit. They still put an image on the highest power. Who wrote the Ten Commandments? They, they put an image on the highest power. Who wrote the What's the image? Who, uh, Jesus, all this bullshit. That's what it is. So you don't believe that's in Jesus Christ? No, I don't. That's, well, yeah, that's, that's an image. You, you think you think you think this Jesus right here? Hey, what is saying the Ten Commandments? It you think you do not put no real quick, graven, real quick. Do not put no graven images on real quick, me, right? Real quick. It says that's how not worship any other god before me. That's no, what it, it says. Said, do not put no yeah, graven. number two. I know what you're talking about. Right. Now who did this? Did we do this? No, I'm not. That, that's bullshit. Who did this? 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 Who
who, who, who is this? That's bullshit. I don't know who the fuck that is. That's nobody. Now I tell you in the Bible what Christ looked like. Listen, we didn't make our own image. It tell us in the Bible what he looked like. Who told us that? Real quick. What is red letter in the Bible? I don't, I don't, I haven't wrote the whole Bible, but I know most of this. Everything, this shit, that's true, it comes from Africa, but there ain't no Jesus, bro. You put the image on the highest power. That's why fucking humanity is fucked up. You believe in history? Uh, yes, yes, yes. All right, right we're going to read something. We're going to read something that's history. Hey, you know why this happened? You know why the no, no. Yes, brother, we know. Brother. You know why it happened? Yes, brother. Because this shit is corrupt, right? All right, right, brother, right. the image on the highest power. That's why this shit is still corrupt. Bring, bring That's why up. this blood happened. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. Listen to this real quick, quick brother. Yeah. You don't know what you're talking about. I promise you. I hold on, don't brother. Know. Hold, on, hold on, brother. Deuteronomy 28. This is history. This is history. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. What is Egypt according to the Bible? What was the Israelites doing in Egypt? I haven't read the whole Bible. Brother, you say you woke. I'm woke, but I'm, I'm far away. All right, look, 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 look. All right, I got you. I got you. So, so Egypt, Egypt, according to the Bible, give me, uh, give me, uh, Micah six and four. We gonna find out what Egypt is according to the Bible. The Bible explains itself. You understand? You can't just go on your lean on your own understanding because you start doing that, you start going off to the left and to the right instead of staying on a straight and narrow path. I'm a naturalist. I told you this. But the book of Micah. Give me six and verse five. Six and verse four. Wait up. For I brought thee up out of the land of Egypt and redeemed thee out of the house of servitude. So Egypt and the Bible is synonymous for the house of servitude, bondage, and slavery. Because Moses, if you know anything about Moses, Moses went to Pharaoh in Egypt because the Israelites were in slavery and he wouldn't let them go. You understand? Now, right here, God is, this is a curse that he's putting on the Israelites. Give me 15 real quick. Hold on, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish, brother. Deuteronomy 28, 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. God is saying, if you don't listen to me, God is talking right now. He's saying, if you don't listen to me, what's gonna happen? God, hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all these commandments and statutes which I command you this day. So in this Bible, God gave us commandments. I'm breaking it down so you can understand. In this Bible, God gave us command commandments and statutes. Rules that we could and couldn't do. You understand? Right. Three. Right. Command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? A bad thing. So God is saying, if you don't listen to me, all these bad things are going to come upon you. Man is not saying this. Real quick. I'm, I'm almost done. Man is not saying this right now. This is God saying this. And we know this because what we're about to read, we're about to show you. We're about to show you. No, not Israel. Israel is a man. Read. Bring yourself. Curse shall thou be in the city. And curse shall thou be in the field. The Lord said, listen, this is written over 3,000 years ago. He said, if you don't listen to me, you're going to be cursed in the cities. How are we living right now? Our people. How, just answer the question, brother. Are we living good in the cities? Are we, are, are we, are, do we own all these businesses? No. Are we, are we treating each other with love? No. So we being cursed in the city, right? Now, the second part of this, right? Curse shall thou be in the field. Who is cursed in the field? What is this right here, brother? But this is written 3,000 years ago. Right. Do you understand? Can man tell you that? It's in the Bible, it's, right? a, it's a simple question. Yeah, your name. Can, can man tell you that? If it happened, yes, they can tell you. If God literally told Moses to tell the Israelites, if you don't listen to me, 3,000 years later, you're going to go into slavery, and you're going to be cursed in the city and in the field, and that actually happened, does that mean the Bible is written by man? Yes. No, brother. Yes. It does. I got a question. Do we the Ten Commandments to me? You know the Ten Commandments? I know it's 613. Why, why don't they follow the Ten Commandments then? Do this more, brother. Give me, give me Jeremiah 17. Real quick, real quick. We got you, we got you. Jeremiah 17. It's not Christianity, brother. Okay. I'm just about to, I'm about to ask you a question. It don't matter about it's not, it's it's more than 10. It's in the Bible. Can you rape somebody? It doesn't matter. Can you rape somebody? No, I would never rape nobody. All right. All right, I'm going to pass to the next one you speak. I'm gonna give an almighty call on Yahweh by some of my when like y'all was shot. The pastor, the next mic speaker, the brother gonna deal with you. I'm my time up. Come on, call me a shot. Call me a shot. Now, uh, uh, give me uh, go to Psalm 68 and 11 real quick. Now, now, brother, I hear, I hear your argument. I hear what you're saying, King. But you gotta, you gotta realize one thing. Your perception of the scriptures have been twisted because of the world that you've been living in. Okay, and, and, and listen to this. Your whole perception of man is is right. Man is not to be trusted. Okay, but you got you got to think about it like this: the Lord is not going to come down and write a book 
and give it to you and say, read it in person. It don't happen like that. Right. Right. So he chooses men throughout time. These men are chosen prophets. Right. And he gives them the word. Okay? So read this out. He, he, the Lord, yes. The, you just said he gives them the word. God gives them the word. Yes, because the Lord he, is a man of war. So he's a man. He's a man. Okay? Right. So, no. I'm going to show you that real sense. quick. I'm going to show you that. that, don't give me that sense. Give me a that. man cannot be the give highest power. Give me uh, a man cannot be the Hold highest it. power. Give me that real quick. Air is the highest power. Listen to this, brother. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 68 and verse 11. And it reads, For the Lord, for the Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Okay. The Lord gave the, the word. The Lord gave the word. So that to means man. he had to talk, right? No, it means word, that. What does word mean? What Bruh, does word mean? Let go of the mentality that the Lord is some type of man that's going to come down here and talk to you in person. I'm not saying okay? that. Okay? That's what he's saying. He gives, he gives that word to his prophets. Okay? But word, you have to talk. You said word, but you have to talk to make a word, right? Give me this real quick. So, yes, right? Book of Exodus, chapter 15 and verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is what? The Lord is a man of war. Okay. The Lord is his name. All right. So that's letting you know right there that the Lord is a man of war. All right? Brother, give me uh, Amos 5 and 9 and hold that real quick. Okay? I still don't understand, though. Because, because you're thinking in terms of, a, of an actual written word. You're thinking in terms of a man that's coming down here and he's speaking out of his mouth. That's what it's saying, though. Okay? That's what it's saying, though. That's what it's saying, though. So how natural. I, read that real quick. A word Brother, is how, you're a naturalist, is that right? Natural. You're a naturalist? Yes. Read this real quick. The naturalism doctrine. According to the philosopher Stephen Lockwood, naturalism can be separated into ontological sense uh -huh. and to methodological sense. Okay, let's get to the point. Well, uh, for example, philosopher Paul Kirk argues that nature is best accounted for by reference to material principles. Mm -hmm. That's okay. okay, so nature, you're talking in terms of nature, Right, we're getting away from the fact that the Lord is actually, he's, he's more than just a man. He's not fl like flesh and blood man like you and me, okay? And he's not actually speaking to these prophets like we're having a conversation or a dialogue right now, okay? So let go of that, all right? Because that's, you're thinking worldly. You're thinking in terms of the world, okay? I'm not thinking nothing, that's what it says. Also, the point is, came in the same thing you're dealing with came from men. We're dealing, right, with, we're, dealing with, we're, from we're dealing with prophets. Naturalism. Okay. The, the spoken, the spoken and written word, the way you're describing it, is a man's concept. Right. Okay. A man wrote that. All right. A man wrote this, but that man was what? He was inspired by the Most High. Ah. He was given a vision. He was given the interpretation. Right. Go ahead and bring it up. It's the Book of Joel, chapter two and verse twenty-eight. Bring it out. And it reads, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And so your the, Lord, like you the Lord has literally taken his spirit and poured it out upon all flesh. All right? Giving brothers, giving young men visions. Giving, el giving elders understanding of the scripture. They go in and they share in that understanding with the people. Okay? So, again, literally, this is, uh, again, this is not a religion. We, uh, we know through the scriptures that it is our heritage. Give me Sirach 24, 23. This is your, this is a record, okay? Brother, give me Baruch 1 and 1, too. All right, this is a, 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 a written record of everything that happened to our people throughout history, okay? So you gotta understand that the only way we was going to get this record, the only way we was going to get this knowledge is if the Lord had put it in the mouth of the prophets. Okay? It's the only way we was going to get it. Nature was not going to give it to us. We wasn't going to naturally have these things without inspiration from the Most High who created nature and everything around you. Are we waiting on the Lord to come save us? Absolutely. Absolutely. How else, how else are we going to be saved? Let me ask you a question, brother. Uh, name one, uh, one, one point in time throughout our history where we have been successful at anything without the Lord. Anything that we tried to do, ain't these people came, didn't these people come? Think about Tulsa, Oklahoma. But, but, Hold on, wait a minute, brother. Think us. about Tulsa, I'm asking you a question. Think about Tulsa, Oklahoma, and how our people came together and created that booming society, right? What happened to those brothers and sisters in Tulsa, Oklahoma? Right, right, what, what happened to them? They got massacred. Right. Got Every massacred. time we tried to come together and build without a solid foundation, what's that foundation? The Lord. 
Without without that foundation, what happened to our people? We was destroyed every time. Right. Go ahead and bring bring your uh, precept out. Uh, it's the book of Lamentations. Eight and thirty, real quick. Chapter four, verse seventeen. And it reads, as for us, Let's our go. eyes have yet failed for our vain help. And our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. You hear that, brother? Hey, that script is so nice, we got to bring it out twice. Say it again. It's the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. And it reads, as for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. And our watching, we have watched for a nation. That could not save us. All right. We watched for a nation of people to give us the answers and the understanding about the world that we live in. And we trusted them to give us that knowledge and wisdom and understanding they could never really give you, brother. Okay. Who is, what, 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 what's, what's, the, what's the ones? That, those people. We watch. We look to them. They are our authority. They're your source of information. They're your source of knowledge. We go to their schools. Okay. We, we scour in YouTube. I'm far beyond that. All right. I'm far beyond that. I'm Steve far beyond Lockwood that. They got to tell me that. Steve Boy, Lockwood and Paul Kurtz are two white men that gave you the beliefs that you're into, kid. And, 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 and naturalism. What absolute belief? great, what excellent belief? point. That's you see not that? A naturalism. That's natural. It's not a belief because it's real. It's not a belief because it's because you believe it's no, real, because, right? So trees and air is not real. That's real, right? That's natural, right? The spirit's fine. Faith at the end of the day, right? We got faith that he gonna come back. Like uh, if I'm not mistaken, you said earlier. Yeah, we believe that, right? We got faith in it, right? We got faith that he's gonna come back and save us out of the captivity that we in, right? We got. Hold on, let me finish, brother. I, I got you. I got you. No, you good? I got you, though. I got you. Know, I got you. Right, we got faith in these things. We hope in these things. Okay. Right? Have we have we seen the third heaven before with bodily eyes? No. Have we seen them in the spirit? Yeah. For sure, if you got ears to hear. So these things that you're saying, oh, you hope this, you hope that, brother, that's, that's the definition of hope at the end of the day. The substance of things not seen. So that's the answer to your question. Okay, but What's I your next to, question? So you, no, you said he's gonna come down and save us, right? Right, so he's sending his son, which is, his name is Yahweh Shah, to come and deliver us out of this captivity. Right, want me to show you? His son? Go to the book, I'm about to, let me elaborate okay. for you. Right, go to the book of, uh, go to the book of uh, Jeremiah. Right, go to Jeremiah chapter 23 and start at verse 5. Go to Isaiah chapter 56 and verse 1. Right, and go to the book of uh, Psalms chapter 40. Go to the book of Psalms chapter 64 and start at verse 4. Right, and somebody give me the book of Psalms chapter 12 and 6. Bring this up. The book of Isaiah chapter 56 and verse 1. And it reads. Thus saith the Lord, keep ye judgment and do justice. For my salvation is for my salvation is near to come. And that's what we believe. But watch this. Keep in, stay with me, King. All right. Read this. Look at Jeremiah chapter twenty-three, verse five. Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord. Said the day is come. So far, the things that's written in this book, not one has failed yet. So we have no choice but to believe that the things that he's saying that's gonna come in the future. Right from this point forward, it's gonna come to pass. Cause so far, guess what? It ain't failed us, right? If somebody, if you say, hey, if you got that person that you can depend on, right? And you know, whenever he call, whenever you call, he gonna come through for whatever you need, right? You always gonna believe that, cause so far he ain't he ain't showed you nothing different, right? That's how it is with the Most High God, brother. In this book, the things so far that's written in it, hey, it all came to pass. And the things that's written about it in the future, hey, we had no choice but to believe, cause it is not yet filled. Right? Read. That I will raise unto David a righteous branch, right. and a king shall reign and prosper, uh -huh. and shall execute judgment, and, shall execute judgment right. and justice right. in the earth. Uh -huh. In his days Judah shall be saved. Right, he said in his days Judah shall be saved. Judah is the southern kingdom. Right, read on. And Israel shall dwell safely. Read. And this is his name whereby he shall be called. Right, going into title, not an actual name, but titles. Read. The Lord. Our righteousness. Right. Therefore, behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, uh -huh. that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel me, out of the land Israel. of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel right. out of the north country. Out of the north country. And what country are we in presently, brother? If you don't mind uh, answering that real quick. So called North America, right? So we believe, based off of the scriptures and prophecy, that the, mo that the Lord, right? He's going to send his son, whose name is Yahweh Shai, right, to come and save us out of the north country, right. right? That's called prophecies, something that's being foretold about before it actually happens. 
just like the brother was going through with you earlier about how it's pro or well now history, right? But before then, three thousand years ago, it was prophecy that we would be brought to a land on slavery, on slate or brought to this land by ships and brought into slavery, right? It was prophecy back then in 1406 BC, but now it's history, right? right. So that's true, right? But it, hey, bring us up. Keep reading. And from all countries whether I had driven Let them. Let me know when you got that. And they shall dwell in their own land. Right, we're going to dwell in our own land. That's us being saved at the end of the day. Us getting taken out of captivity because we're still in slavery, brother. Whether you understand that or not, we still in. For sure, all praise to the Most High. That's good. But I'm just saying, like, you know, we, we in captivity. We got to be saved out of this. You think this is going to go on forever? I'm not asking you, literally. I'm just saying. Like, this ain't going to go on forever. For sure. So the way that we're going to get out of that, you understand? Right, following the commandments, right? So who got up with us our call? Right, bring this out. It's the book of the mighty prophet Isaiah, right. chapter 47, and verse 3. This is another, this another thing that you were saying, and I still wanted that Hebrews chapter 12 and the last verse. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Uh -huh. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. Right. I will take vengeance. The Lord, so this is Yahweh shot. You understand? Okay. The son of the most high said, hey, I will take vengeance because he's going to take vengeance on the people that has done these different things that you see up here until his chosen people, right. his children at the end of the day. Read on. And I will not meet thee as a man. What did he say? And I will not meet thee as a man. He said, I will not meet thee as a man. So the, you got to understand the concept of, oh, it's a, it's a man. Somebody give me the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 1. Hey, read that again. Read it out one read more time, King. Isaiah 47 and verse 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. Right. I will take vengeance. So the Lord says he's going to take, we're going to keep reading, but the Lord says he's going to take vengeance because the, let me finish. Let me finish, brother. Okay. Let me finish. Right. I promise. Any question you got, we're going to just, just be patient with me. All right. right? We, this is good. All right. So, right, the Lord is going to come back and take vengeance upon the nations. You understand? Read. I will take vengeance. Right. And I will not meet thee as a man. Because when he come back, you're not going to be able to do nothing to him. You're not going to be able to, you, you they're they not going to be able to shoot at him and he get harmed. They're not going to be, he's not going to be sweating. Right. He's not going to, what brother? So what he just read is what the Most High said, right? Right. Through the, through, through the Spirit, it's talking about his son. Right. Bring this out in Hebrews 12 and, 4, uh, 12 wait, 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 and the last wait, wait, verse. what? Say it again. Through the Spirit, it's... Ooh. Who is he talking Listen, to? Listen, brother. Listen, I'm trying to answer you, brother. Okay. You said, who is he talking to? He just said, I. Yeah, this is called pro being prophetic, brother. Right, go to the book of Hosea, chapter 12 and verse 10. I'm going to show you, brother. Because the most high don't, like the brothers was trying to bre break down to you earlier, the most high not always are just going to come and have a conversation with you. Right. He expounds on these things through visions and dreams. Okay. You understand? Give me the book of uh, Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 11. It's the book of Hosea. Watch this, King. Watch this, King. It's the book of Hosea, chapter 12 and verse 10. Yeah. And it reads, I have spoken by the prophets. It said, I have spoken by the prophets. Now watch this, read. I have multiplied visions. Multiplied what? Visions. Read. And used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. So he communicates and speaks to them through what? Visions and dreams. Right. You understand? And these things, right? Let me get one more and then I got you. And I'll go one more and then I got you. I promise, brother. I promise. I don't know. I want revelations. Revelations. Chapter 1 to verse 11. And it reads. Bring it out. Dang. I am Alpha. Start at, uh, uh, yeah, read that and then jump up to verse 1. Matter of fact, read verse 1 and then drop down to verse 11. Revelation 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Right. You know what a revelation is? Something that's being revealed unto you. Right. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servant these which must be shown to come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Verse 11, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and last. And what thou seest, write in a book. It said what thou seest. Why? Because he had a vision. Right. He was having a vision. He was being spoken to through a vision, through a dream. You understand? It said what thou seest, read. Like it said it unto the seven churches. So like it, read, read that, what thou seest again. What thou seest, write in a book. Write in where? Write in a book. So what he saw, he wrote it in the book. Right. What he saw? 
Right. What was given unto him. Like, like we brought it like we brought in the book. Who wrote it again? I don't, I don't you said what? Who, who wrote that again? Who wrote that? What? This specific thing or the Bible right, period? The, the scriptures. Like that, 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 That's a good that question. The Lord gave. I'm going to show you, brother. Right? Go to the book of... Uh, hey, he got to be like one of us, right? You said what? He's one of us, right? Go to the book. I'm going to show you. I'm going to break it down for you, brother. Go to the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 1. Or, uh, so like it, 2 Maccabees 2, and verse 1. I'm going to show you something, brother. And give me 1 Samuel, chapter 10, and verse 25. Right? And give me the book of Psalms, chapter 12, and verse 6. You got 2 Maccabees, bring this up. Because, and before we bring this out, hey, uh, Jay. Brother Jay, right? So you got to understand one thing, too. The perception that the world has put on the Bible is not what it is. You understand? You got you to gotta understand that. So when we're breaking these things down to you, we're not, coming, we're not coming at you from a Christianity mind point and a Christianity mindset. So a lot of things of what you think we might believe or what you perceive about the Bible, more, more, than, more often than not or more than likely, it's different from what we believe. You understand? Right, so I want you to just throw all that Christianity kind of out the window and just bear with me and just right. receive what right. we're saying to you, and then you can say, ask right. your questions and different right. stuff. So right. bring this up. Second Maccabees. I'm going to show you what this book is. Chapter 2 verse 1, and he reads. Bring it out. It is also down in the record. In the what? Down in the record. What's the Bible? Down in the record. The Bible is records, brother. It's history. Right. From what our, I, I know, I'm, I'm just breaking it down to you, brother. Right, you asked me. Right. So the book. Right, Bible just goes back to the word, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, biblios, which means a collection of books. Ah, okay. What what collection of books is it? When you read the Bible, brother, it's literally Israelite men, which would be the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans writing about different captivities that they was in, and writing about things that they experienced, and writing about things that the Most High God gave to them either in a vision or in a dream. Right. That's literally what the Bible is, brother. It's not some all this. Oh, my bad, gate. Right, all this whatever. You understand? It's literally record book, brother. It's a history book. Things that men seen, and they wrote it in a book. Just like any other thing that's history-based. You understand? Right, bring, uh, what you got? What I call? All right, Psalms. Yeah, bring this up. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 12 and verse 6. And he reads, the words of the Lord are pure words. Are what? Are pure words. These things are pure at the end of the day, read. As silver tried in a furnace of earth. Purified seven times. Purified what? Purified seven times. That, word, that uh, number seven is a spiritual number for completion. These things have been purified seven times over. Right? You know how many people have tried to debunk the Bible? Right? But it can't be debunked because it's history. Right? right? Bring this up. First Samuel, chapter 10 and verse 25. Then Samuel told the people the manner of right? the kingdom. Give me the book of Acts chapter 21 and verse 37. And wrote it in a book. And did what? And wrote it in a book. Right, and wrote it in a book, right? That's it on that, right? Bring this up, right? You know who Paul is? Right after this one, then I got you, I promise, right? This is, the, this is the last one, right? Because you know who Paul is, right? Before we read it. Well, Paul is responsible for a lot of the uh, books in the New Testament, a lot of the epistles, right? You know what the word epistle means? It's a, an epistle is a letter. So when you read a lot of things in the New Testament, right, like his epistles, they have, it's a, it's a letter. So it tells you who he's writing to and what for. Because okay. they literally letters. Okay. You understand? Records, right? I'm going to show you, right, what Paul was. This is the book of Acts, chapter 21 and verse 37. And, Romans 11, and it reads, and as Paul was led into the castle, right. he said unto the chief captain. Now, Paul was being put into prison. Right, he would. Uh, when you read the Bible, a lot of the well, then every apostle was in and out of jail, right? So he's being led into the chief captain, read. And he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee? Now he said to the chief captain, May I speak unto you? But he said it in a different language, it's gonna tell you that, read. Who said, Can thou speak Greek? Right now, the chief captain, he like, How you know how to speak Greek? He said, Can thou speak Greek? Because Paul wasn't a Greek, right? Read. Are not thou the Egyptian? That what? Are not that thou Egyptian? Now, when you read the book of Romans, chapter 11, and verse 1, Paul's not an Egyptian. He's an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. But why would the chief captain refer to him and say, ain't you that Egyptian? Why would he say that? Because he, he was dark, like us. He was of a dark complexion. So to answer your question, brother, we the ones that wrote the scriptures, our forefathers. You understand? Uh, I know it came from us. 
I mean, you asked me, so I just, you feel me? From the pyramids, they took it off the pyramids. You said what? Well, listen, this is the, I'm going to tell you how man is, is, is totally destroyed. Because they found the same shit from a pyramid that, and it was a, this, this happened before, right? This happened before, the blood and oil, right? So, why are men still following shit that happened centuries, years ago, that shit still ain't right? You got to elaborate. What you mean, following what? In a, in the no, hold on, race. brother. Slow down. I'm asking you a question. What? You said following what? They following inputting. Follow, they not. They not following the Ten Commandments. That's what I'm telling right, you right now. Right. For sure. They not. That's what I'm telling you right now. Yeah, we this understand why that. This shit is fucked up. That's the right. Putting the image on the highest power. Go to the said, book. I'm listening the to Ten you. Commandments. Go to the book of. Uh, I'm listening Can we to read you. Read the uh, Ten Commandments. Let's read the Ten Commandments for the brother. We are not gonna read every single one though. Why not? That's it, brother. That's the a lot of time, four, brother. The first four. Okay, we got you. We got you. Four. We'll read the first four, brother. Got you. Exodus chapter twenty. In verse 2, the Torah, uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, right. out of the house of bondage. Right now, it's about to go into the commandments. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Right. Thou shalt not make any graven image images or right. any likeness or anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath no, no or image. that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Thou shalt not what? Thou bow thyself to them. Right. Nor serve them, for I am the Lord thy God. Right. Am a jealous God. Uh -huh. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, upon the third and fourth, fourth generation, generation right. of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me, uh -huh. and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take thy name. The Lord thy God in vain, in vain right. for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Right. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work, but in the seventh day the Lord thy God which thou shalt do in it thou shalt do no work, thou shalt do any work. Right. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy maid servant, nor thy man servant, nor thy cattle, right. nor thy stranger that is in within thy gates. Right, that's the Ten Did Commandments. The second one? The, no, the no. second commandment? It said, don't put no graven images of what? What did it say? Come on, brother. You, we did read that. No, I didn't, I didn't hear you it. Gotta, no, I, we'll no, read it again, but you no, got to pay attention, brother. Are y'all putting an image on the highest power? I'm going to break it down I for you. I want to know. I'm gonna, I'm, can I, I answer? An image the highest Hold power. on, brother. Can I answer your question? Answer it. All right, let's deal with it. Go back to it. In verse 4, thou shalt not make it unto thee any graven image. Right. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, right? Or that is in the earth beneath, right? Or that is in the water uh, under the earth. Uh huh. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto. Nope. The thou shalt not. No, that's still the same commandment, brother. Stay right there. No, you gotta read. You gotta finish the commandment. But it says, do not put no graven images right, of Right, but thee. finish the commandment. That's read. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. No, you can't. No, you can't. You can't make. You can't make a drawing. Read. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. You can't make these things and bow down unto them, brother. Read. Nor serve them. Nor can you serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Straight like that, brother. But this is what's going on, right? What, you said, you trying to accuse us of doing that? Everybody, Christian, to everything. Brother, I just told you we're not in it's Christianity, just, no, brother. I'm it's everything. You putting an image on the highest power. Hold on, so will you, hold on, that. but listen, I got a question. It says not to do that, So right? can I ask a question? Yes. So when you saying this, are you just talking about the world, brother? Or are you talking about us personally? I'm talking about everybody that's putting images on the highest power. So you're just talking about generally the world. You're not talking about it. Okay. Not just about yeah, all, that's why that's all I ask, brother. Saying, that's why it's corrupt. So look. That's why is this shit corrupt. I don't like, Brother, we don't don't we agree with that, brother? Oh, yeah, yeah, ain't nothing, yeah. brother. So what you what you yeah, that's right, brother. I'm, that's why right? I asked y'all. For sure. Do that's have right. An image of the highest power? Do we have an image of the highest power? Yes. No, there's no look, we got what is a depiction. Where does it go? Shop. Where is it at? So oh, right a depiction right of what he may look like. Right? right? Like. And that's false. I'm done talking. No, brother. See, read that again, brother. That's this is called comprehension skills. Right. It's basic. Basic. That's basic. why that's why that's why uh uh man, I remember you my mom used to tell me reading is fundamental. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. You can't make graven images, read. Or any likeness of anything. Okay. Any likeness of anything. That is in heaven above. That is in heaven above. Or that is in the earth beneath. Or in the earth beneath. Or that is in the water under the earth. Or that is in the water and the earth. That's like saying you can't make a drawing of a fish. 
That's like saying you can't draw a star. That's like saying you can't. That's like saying you can't draw a dog. That's like that. Use your use your head sometimes. Reading is fundamental. You got a point. Yeah, King. Is it the elements that he worships as his god? All right. You see that? You see that? And worshiping. Right. But read on. Thou, verse five. Thou shall not bow down thyself to them. This is talking about the same commandment. This is not saying, oh, if you make an image of a of a uh, of a shark, right, then you're going off, right. If you make an image of uh, that, mean, if you draw a person, that mean, hey, if that's the case, that means we can't take pictures. I mean, I mean, I mean, that means you can't take pictures, right? You can't take pictures. You can't do a drawing. Exodus twenty and verse three. Right, a naturalist though. Read. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Right, but the nature made everything. Read. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Right, any graven images. But I want to focus on how you're not supposed to have any other gods before the Most High God. Right? You blatantly, and I heard the brother when he said it, he blatantly said, right, there's no man that's a, that's, that's on a, uh, uh, that's a, 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 a higher power. You understand? When Yahweh Shah worked the, uh, when Yahweh Shah walked the earth, he was a higher power, man. Right? And he was and he came in the flesh the first time. Right? They tell you that in the book of Hebrews, chapter one. Right? As well as in the other chapters in the book of Hebrews, with chapter two as well. So these are the things that our people gotta get out of this think they know it all stuff, man. You literally work you literally just that you worship and believe in nature. But don't wanna believe and uh confess of the most high God. Right? Bring this up. Wisdom of Solomon 13 and 1. This the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 1. You know. And it reads, surely vain are all men by nature. Right, and there's a lot of vain men upon the face of the earth. You understand? When we was when, before we came into the truth, we was vain. We was doing all type of vanity. Right? Even Solomon said that, man. He said, vanities are vanities, man. He got to the point to where he was like, damn, everything vanity. Right? Read. This is the point, right? So, so you got a minute for the words of the Lord. You God's chosen people, you are Israelite. We got to repent, keep the commandments. Surely are all men by nature who are ignorant. It said, and by nature, man. There go that word nature, right? Are a, a vain by nature who are ignorant, read. Who are ignorant of Yahweh. Right, who are ignorant of the Most High God, right? So you would rather put nature and natural things, right, upon uh, uh, or so like it, uh, uh, above the most high God, not understanding that, read. And could not, out of the good things that are seen, know him that is. I said, out of the good things that are seen, man. Like what? The things that the brother brought out, like the trees, right? Like the flowers of the field, the lilies, you understand? The beautiful mountains, the forests, right? The sun coming up, the moon when it's full. You understand? Right. These beautiful things could not out the hey, read. Get out, King. Read that one more time. Salakia. And could not out of the good things. The good things which implies are the things that's upon the face of the earth, naturally, read. That are seen, know him that is. We ship! With what? We ship! With what? We ship! How did we get to America? On ships, right? So, it, it, did everybody on the earth go into slavery on ships? Who went into slavery on ships, brother? That's right. Crazy. Right, right, right. Oh, keep going crazy.